do an interpretation exercise about how people misunderstand each other. Since I've been very interested in noticing this on religious online conversations and in the way people accuse each other and act conspiratorial. And I'm not saying my interpretation is always right, by the way. I'm just saying, let me just see if I can help you in the way that I've grown and how I listen to people and what they say and what they may or may not mean and being charitable as best I can. Not that I'm the perfect example of this, but I do constantly notice people making the same kind of uh, uncharitable or conspir- they act conspiratorial in the way that I used to without realizing the, there's more possibilities to what someone is actually saying uh, rather than what you think you know what they mean. And so I think this, is a, this would be like a good example. Let me just play this video. Now, let's have a think about what we all fantasize about in this UAP UFO subject. All we really want So this is a video of a conference with high-ranking military people regarding uh, the knowledge in government uh, about alien contact or, well, you'll see. It's for somebody in the know to stand up somewhere on a stage and tell it like it really is, spill his guts, reveal all, and we can all go home and get on with our lives. Well, to some degree, that's what a lot of people are saying. Carl Nell, Colonel Carl Nell did the former director of the UAP task force for the Pentagon when he stood up on stage in New York City in front of the SALT conference attendees on the 21st of May. Here's the million dollar question. Do you believe that a higher form of non-human intelligence has visited this planet? Right. So non-human intelligence exists. Non-human intelligence has been interacting with humanity. This interaction is not new, and it's been ongoing. And there are unelected people in the government that are aware of that. It was an ex- There you go. Government official, high-ranking U.S. military official, flatly telling you that the government interacts with aliens, right? Perhaps. Or that guy just believes the Bible. Is true. Do you want to hear it again? All that, if you want to get more specific, you could say every Christian who's not a cessationist essentially believes that that's true. Or every Christian that believes uh, God do- can and does continue to communicate to his people on earth is compatible with that statement. That statement is true. If you're a Bible-believing Christian. What did you want to hear in his statement? What did you hear and what did he mean? I'm not saying that's what he means. I'm saying I don't know what he means for sure. But he could mean what I just suggested. And he wouldn't be lying. 